Hi, my name's Simon from Motordrome. Now today we're going to take a walk around and a drive off this uh, rather lovely fern green Ford Cortina 1600E that you can see lurking behind me here. Two videos, one walk around, one driving, plus a bit of uh, starting and idling action at the end. Hope you like them. Okay, let's have a look around this absolutely beautiful um, H plate. So it's either 69 or 70. It's certainly a very late one. Um, Ford Cortina 1600E. Uh, obviously a Mark II, and this is actually a Series 2 model because it's got the um, um, the lower dash uh, centre gauges. So yes, it's a late uh, late 1600E. Finished in fern green with the uh, the correct black interior um, and all the wood and everything. Only modification from standard looking at it. It's got a lovely set of period um, Dunlop alloys on it instead of the, uh, the normal chrome Ross styles. Aside from that, it's got the... Um, the extra auxiliary front lights. No vinyl roof on this one, unusually, and I think it looks better for it, to be honest. Being a late one, it's got the black tail panel. This really is an absolutely stunning car. It's been in one ownership for many, many years and was restored, I think, around 1990, um, but it's been in the same ownership since before that. Um, done an absolutely beautiful job on it. Um, odometer's reading 43,000 miles. I haven't looked through the history yet, but it's absolutely massive. As you can see, all the uh, correct steering wheel, um, the, the right wood trim, the right seats, everything. Spot on. Um, right, let's come around and see if we can pick out any, well, any bad bits, really, because most of it just looks absolutely superb. Um, chrome is excellent, just with the exception of a couple of areas around the rear lights, which I'll come to when we get around the back. But paint on the bonnet is excellent. Sorry about the shadow, it's a very sunny day here today. Looking down the near side, she looks totally straight and tidy. Told it had around 30 new panels in the restoration. And certainly looking at what we can see here, I see no reason to uh, disagree with that, although I haven't looked at the history yet. Nice period tax disc in it, even though it's from a Hillman. But uh, on the screen here, what have we got there? Is that a chip? No, I think it's just a bit of, uh, a bit of paste or something on the screen. Screen's in pretty good shape, roof is lovely. Front passenger door, excellent. And door card. So the interior is in excellent shape as well. Even got a period nodding dog in the rear window. Headlining's all nice. Dash top isn't cracked. Wood is very good, period stereo as well. Just really, really nice in here. Door card's gone slightly baggy just there on the passenger side. Now, if I'm being really picky, there's a couple of tiny bubbles just there on the top of the off of the near side rear door and just here on the top of the off side, of the near side rear wing, just there. But I am being ultra fussy there. I did also notice, did I? Yeah, there's a tiny mark on the passenger front passenger door just there, just where it's been opened into something. And then in the back here, again, all absolutely lovely. Small chip just there on the near side rear wing. Now, as we've said about some of the, the, the chrome just here on the top of the near side rear light unit is rather pitted, just that pit section there, but the rest of it's pretty good. Boot lid, that's just a piece of fluff. It's all nice, and then looking down the offside, it looks very good down there. Um, Offside rear wing and arch, all nice. And we've just got to reattach this piece of um, rubber up here. 
It's come unglued. That's, uh, again, interior wise, spot on. It's got a, <coughs> an extra gauge down there, a voltmeter. Which works. Um, front door, it's a bit of dirt. Side front wing, again, a couple of spots of dirt. That looks like a chip. That's a piece of dirt on the outside front wing. And then again inside here, door card is all very nice. Door skins, e post, dash, driver's seat. Yeah, I love these. It is, sorry, I love them. It's actually the first 1600 I've ever had. One of those cars I hankered after in the uh, in the early 80s. I had many other fast forwards over the years, but never a 1600 e until now. Anyway, my name's Simon. You can reach me in the office on 0118 907 1495. Or you can go to our website, which is www.moto-drome.com. Okay, let's fire up this uh, Cortina 1600 e Generator light comes up as it should. Starts beautifully. When it's warm, starts fine when it's cold as well. Just need to give the rev count a little tap to make that work. But idling nicely. And I'll show you under the bonnet. Under bonnet shots of the uh, Ford 600 GT engine. Get some extractor manifold and stuff. Riding when warm. Incidentally, on the body plate there, all the details all match up. Correct shell, correct colour. Just fabulous at the car, isn't it?